Welcome back to another episode of the Pale Horse and Random African Podcast. So, uh, Georgia family, uh, they went and cut down a tree, of course, uh, for Christmas. They've had the tree in their house for like, uh, for like nine days. The tree? Okay. They cut it down? Who still does that? Like, they got stores you can go buy them. Well, I don't like, know. Who, Maybe it's like an old, a tree down? old school uh, farm family. Okay. I don't know. know. But anyways, so they made dinner, they're eating dinner or whatever, they're cleaning up. One of their, one of their yeah. kids, uh, <laughs> she goes in there and she comes back like all dramatic into mm-hmm. the dining room and to tell her mom that one of the ornaments scared her, right? <laughs> and, I can't wait to see where this yeah, goes. So, so, so her mom's like, oh, okay. And this like They keep doing what they're doing. And then she tries, the yeah. kid goes back in there and then comes back, starts crying. Saying that the ornament was staring at her, it was scaring her, and so <laughs> her awesome. mom is a huge fan of big owls. Big owls, owls like the bird owls. Oh, and so so oh, so the owls. tree has okay. owls all over it, and so okay. she goes in there and they're looking, and uh, she goes to point out the ornament, and it's one of the owl uh, ornaments, and yeah. so she goes up to it and looking at it, and all of a sudden it blinks and turns its head. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's and it's like awesome. moves around the tree, and it's a giant owl inside. The, and it's been in the house like, for how like long? Nine days. And this owl's just hanging out, letting the tree get dragged. It's like not and even you tripping. And think of them like it's in the, it's probably in their living room. And yeah. this thing is not. It's been watching them. Just watching them, figuring out what it's going to do. Yeah, it's been sitting in their house for like nine days. A giant bird. Just the fact that the bird hung out in the tree for them to get it back to the house, like he could have easily flew away. What? He's just hanging out like, oh, look at these humans. What are they I doing? know, they cut it down. They actually, like... Yeah, like, you think the tree falling would have been enough to make the owl fly away. Like, that owl is really... Like, that's the ultimate protester. You know how they used to hug trees so they wouldn't deforest it? Like, that owl is the ultimate protester. He's like, I am not leaving. Maybe he's hurt. Maybe the owl's no, hurt they have and a video. Of it. It's like, crazy. It's like moving around the tree. It's just, It's fine, like... They still have it? No, they got it. I think they, it they got it out of the house. How? I think it oh attacked Oh, my God. You, you know how scary owls are? They're awesome. Though. I know, but you got to think, like, I, I've been in the woods, like, coon hunting at night, and you hear yeah. owls, like, call out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, that, that thing never made a noise for, like, nine days? Yeah, it's like uh, nature's ninja. That should be another one, ninjas of nature. D- Can you think of three ninjas of nature off the top of your head? <laughs> no. This owl is clearly a ninja of nature. Dude, that scared the shit out of me. If I just decorate my tree and all of a sudden an owl like twists its head all the way around like they do, starts staring at me. Some, I mean, yeah, something's got to be wrong with the owl. It just stayed in there for nine days. But like, where is it pooping? Is it just keeping it's it just to itself? It's just shitting on the tree. <laughs> it's just pooping in their house. Uh, hey, you know they're turning the lights off when they go to sleep. You think it would become That's what I'm saying. Then. It's, like, it's you don't, it didn't make quiet. no noise. No, I think it was a, like a rapist owl. <laughs> so is that what it is rapist of nature yeah like that instead owl ninja, is like of... like planning on killing the family and having its way with yeah, it obviously it's like this like waiting around at night like you gotta think at <laughs> night this owl sees like could have killed the dog it could have because it's gonna probably see better at you know night. like all of a sudden like the cat disappears because it could totally eat the cat like it eats like big rabbits yeah, and it, stuff it, the, and the cat's like walking around the living room not expecting a giant freaking owl to snap its neck. No, well, well, you got, if it's a good cat, the cat had to have known it was in there because cats eat birds. Not owls. So like you think that cat didn't smell eat, it? That cat should have been able to smell it. They ain't That's no a house cat. cat eating an owl. I don't know, man. Cats go Dude, feral really fast. No way. Like if you were to buy a cat right now and love it up for a year and then let it loose in the woods, but it would not be dead. This cat clearly was still in the house. And and most know. cats are declawed in the front when they're in the house. Really? That's terrible. Yeah, I would you don't not want do them scratching up your furniture and stuff. Yeah, but I want them to be able to You're defend. You're taking care of them. They're in your house. They don't go outside. Yeah, I might need them to kill a squirrel. <laughs> a brand, yeah, a random happened. squirrel. Yeah, that happened. A random Africa needs a random squirrel. <laughs> that happened. We had a cat when we lived out in the country with my uncle, and, and we were trying to kill this squirrel. And it was like, the, this squirrel was like the Matrix, man. We were shooting at it, and it just kept, like, dodging freaking bullets and just running you on the wall. You guys are horrible shots. And then it, I guess. And then it shot under the house, right? 
not under the house, under this bush in front of the house. And so we were just going to play the waiting game and wait for it to come out and just shoot up the lawn. And then after that, the cat immediately went in after it. And it was like a cartoon because the bush started shaking a whole lot and jumping up and down. And you heard a bunch of noises like, <laughs> and it was just like, like they were just in there doing stuff. And then the cat walked out like a boss, like, all right, it's over. I expect some extra milk tonight, too. And so I looked under the bush and the squirrel was just dead. Just laying there dead. Like a little so squirrel? we chopped its head off and like a regular like full squirrel. grown? I think it or at least teenage. I think it was full grown though. <laughs> <laughs> it was a teenage squirrel. Yes. So uh, we we lopped its head off and we seasoned it up and we ate it. 